Good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy February. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> All right, so we are going to finally get this sew along going. I know there are other sew alongs happening today. This sew along was postponed twice, which I'll talk a little bit about here today of why. Um, but I do want to welcome you all for coming today. I hope that if you are here alive to sew the honeycomb uh, with me today, that you'll share with us over in the group, in the free Facebook group, which is Thunderbird Handcrafted with Genevieve, um, that you'll share, you know, what what fabric you're using and you'll chat with us today if you're here live. If you are watching this on the replay, I hope you'll do the same. I hope you'll leave a comment, you'll say hello. Hi, Georgie. Hey, Christy. Uh, and so, like I said, I appreciate everybody bearing with me, uh, especially Cindy, <laughs> for me postponing this over and over again. And I'll, I'll share a little bit about why that was uh, in a minute. But first, I want to show you um, the one that I made. If you follow me on social media, then you've and you were in the um, RSVP group, the event. Hey, Mo. Oh, all my people are here. You are you people are so lovely. I love you so much. Oh, hey, kiddos, basketball games, family comes first, Georgie. I hope you'll watch the replay and that you'll give it a try. Um, so I did make the standard size uh, and I was, I'll, I'll say to you, I probably wasn't in the best sew mojo um, mindset, but I wanted to push through and make at least one. And I used some of my hand dyed denim for it. I did not put the handle and now I wish I would have. Um, so we're gonna do the handle today on the child size that we're doing. Um, but the denim did really um, provide this with some good structure. So um, I actually was really happy with like my fabric choices of this. So this is the standard size. It is made specifically for a Bible. Um, she also has, Cindy also has, I've, I'm going to forget that, what, what you call, is it the binder size, I guess? Um, so there is a bigger size than this, like if you want to kind of make like a binder size. Uh, so that's what we're making today, since we're trying to do a lot of bookish sewing patterns. Um, this is what we're making today. So when you open it up, which it lays nice and flat, you're going to see we have two slip pockets to put our book in, okay? And I used quilt cotton on the inside. This is actually um, from My Little Shindig, which is this month's club prints, which are beautiful. It's called um, Floral Crayon, I think, or Crayon Floral, something like that. It's gorgeous. Uh, I use the club, which is um, fat quarters. And so I had to piece it together. Uh, and actually using my dyed fabric because it is half yard cuts, I actually, the, the way you cut this, which I've cut it out multiple times wrong, <laughs> read instructions. <laughs> um, you do need to have at least a one yard piece of fabric, I think, or a, a wide enough piece of fabric to get your your tail pieces in. So just keep that in mind um, that you, you'd wanna get something that's wide enough to be able to cut cut it out. So that's what we're making today. I'm very, very excited to, to share it with you all. Uh, and I would love, like I said, I always love seeing what everybody's making theirs with if they are making it. If you're not making it with us today and you're just here to hear me talk and sew along with me, I, tr I truly, truly appreciate that because um, things have been a little, I've been on a struggle bus a little bit lately. I was sharing with Cindy this morning. Um, so first, first of all, um, January, I think be, it, we start off with like all this like gusto and tell me if I'm alone here. I guess that's, that's, this is where the conversation and And I hope you all know, like by joining me on my YouTube channel, one of the things I feel are very important um, when sharing with you all is one, I push myself to be vulnerable because that's part of self-care is sharing with our friends and, and creating community together. Um, and I'm, I am definitely, my personality type does not like sharing and being vulnerable in that regard. Um, it's hard for me. Um, but uh, January, we start out with all this gusto and like excitement and um, anticipation of what the year is going to hold. And then I think we slowly go down, like, I, I personally feel every January, I kind of go down this slope 
<laughs> of, oh gosh, the year's going to go so fast. Or like all these things, all these worries, anxieties, um, trying to get everything done in one month for the entire year. Christy, oh, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that you like watching me so. Um, and so I feel like that's part of January for at least for me. Uh, and then what happened like about a week and a half ago, I was I was not feeling the best. I knew something wasn't right. Um, and it was woman womanly issues. Uh, I went to the doctor. I needed antibiotics. And antibiotics always make me feel junky. Like I just, it just puts me in just a lethargic, like unmotivated necessary. Like I wouldn't say necessarily unmotivated, but motivated, but like I just don't want to be up doing things, right? So I ended up doing a lot of things that are screen oriented. And that also kind of puts you in this like isolated headspace. Then as you can see, I burnt my fingers. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, and even on my on my Facebook group, you might have seen that I have a rotary iron to iron all of my hand dyed fabric. And I have my YouTube, um, while well, my, my iPad set up in front of the rotary iron, I was watching Lord of the Rings to pass the time because I had three months worth of fabric to iron and I was not paying attention and I ironed my hand. Um, it is looking much, much better, but this finger in general, I pretty much went down to like the first layer of skin. I'm sorry if that's too much information. It hurt a lot. It's not hurting anymore. They are healing up pretty nicely. Um, but it hurt when it happened. And I think when we hurt ourselves for something, like it was really my fault, um, I think that also puts us in this other headspace, right? So not only was I sick, I probably shouldn't have been doing that. I should have been resting, right? Like not listening to our bodies and taking the time for ourselves. Um, I felt like it all had to be done at one time. Uh, and then the other part of this too, and I shared a little bit with Cindy, and I won't share too much now, but um, this month is my birthday month. Um, February 20th is my birthday. Um, and it's exciting. A another year is always a blessing, right? Even if we're we're feeling our age a little bit. Um, but another year is always a blessing. And a, a part of that also is I, a couple of years ago, one of my dear, dear friends lost um, a child on my birthday. And um, I feel like there is this balancing act for me of of grief and love for my best friend and what she's gone through. And then also this um, anticipation of, of another year for myself. So um, there's just been a lot <laughs> um, going on behind the scenes. Hi, April. Thank you. I'm, I'm coming in and I'm sharing emotion um, first thing, but I feel like it's very poignant to this pattern today um, because I shared with Cindy this morning, who's the pattern designer from Cherishing Today, um, I probably would have canceled this so long if it wouldn't have been her pattern. Um, Cindy has been one of my strikers. Um, if you don't know what a striker is, they sew um, fabric for you and, and, and turn it into beautiful things. Um, and I probably would have canceled it if, if it wouldn't have been Cindy's pattern. Um, and uh, it just kept me saying, just postpone it. You need to sew this. Um, and so, so I'm really glad we're here today because I feel like it's, it's poignant. Um, the tag that we're using, um, that is one of uh, my collaboration tags with the Heartward and Hyde, said Hope Whispers, try one more time. And I feel like that has a lot to do with what we're sewing today. Um, so I'm, I'm just really thankful to you all for being here. If you can't stay the entire time, believe me, I understand. Uh, but uh, I just want to thank you for being here and sharing with me. Um, so we are going to sew this beautiful little, I'm doing the child size today since I already did the standard size. I wanted to kind of see what size was the standard size to see. Maybe you could use it for a regular size book. Um, you do need one of these tags and I think, I think you're going to get one. <laughs> um, just because Cindy, you really helped me through, 
um, kind of a roller coaster of a, of a month. So um, I can't thank you enough. Cindy does have a coupon code if you don't have the pattern already um, for the rest of today. Cindy, I'm sorry, I don't remember what you said it was. Um, if you could pop it um, in the comments, um, that way people, if they don't have the pattern, they'll be able to get it. I'll make sure that it's in the details and that it says that it's just for the remainder of today. Um, but if you could share that with everybody, if they don't have the pattern, they can grab it. Um, always purchase the patterns. Um, even if there is no, like that, giving a discount is such a, um, blessing. Um, a pattern designer, like they don't make much off of their hard, hard work. Um, so, um, you know, any type of discount is just so gracious. Um, but we're going to be using some of my hand-drawn black diamond feathers. So, um, if you haven't seen my feather series of fabric, um, the feathers I draw are the the colors are taken directly from my hand dyed fabric. Um, so that way, if you're using my hand dyed fabric, it will most definitely coordinate with the hand dyed fabric. It's a softer cut type of color balance um, and they're all uh, hand drawn by me. So we're using the black diamond feathers today. And every month until the entire feather line is released, um, we will have uh, in retail, we will have it in Kona cotton, which if you haven't used Kona cotton, it is the signature quilting, um, thicker, um, cotton woven um, that a lot of people like. I would say if you, if I want to compare it to anything that you've maybe used, Tula Pink uses a, cola, a Kona cotton. So this is a very specific blend that me and my manufacturer worked on so that we would have something that meets the standards of Kona cotton, but also is organic um, and eco-friendly. All my stuff is eco-friendly printed, which means we use very little water um, to print our fabric, um, which was important to me if I was going to have my own fabric and do our do our prints. So the Black Diamond Feathers released, um, we actually had two released this month, the Black Diamond and the Topaz Feathers. So our browns and our black released this month, but our um, blacks you can get in half yard cuts that come with one of the tags. Uh, so we have those available now, or one yard cuts. I suggest if you're gonna do this today, um, this pattern um, with my feathers, you get a one yard cut of it so that you have that width because Kona cotton isn't a very wide fabric. So a half yard would not be enough um, for this pattern to get your, your zipper tails in there. Okay. So um, we do have the half yard with the, with the tag. We have the one yard without the tag. And then we have the tag by itself, which right now you can actually get on our pre-order. Um, so if you haven't put in a print pre-order, make sure you grab one of these tags. And also right now on the print pre-order, you can get the any of our feathers on any of our bases. So if you want it not on Kona cotton, which we'll have in our retail regularly, you can actually get it in the basket weave or the Lux Satine or knits. Um, I actually have it. I want to make myself something with the thermal um, black diamond feathers. Um, so you can get the feathers in any of our bases right now. And our print pre-order ends this coming Thursday, February 8th. Um, so definitely if you want your feathers um, and your tags, go grab them. Um, I'll make sure that the link is in here for you all to um, check those out when we're done. I'll give you a sneak peek. I think I have the sneak peek of February's feathers. Um, February's feathers um, in Kona Cotton and the tags will release, I believe on the 15th is the date that I have it scheduled for. Um, so I'll show you those. And uh, Cindy had made a beautiful um, bag with the sapphire feathers when I first released them. Um, the sapphire feathers, they are a blend of like blues and purples. Um, so that's the sapphire feathers. And then the tag is this beauty. Let me see if I can get it. Mm. Lighting is always wonderful in the winter time. But what it says is magic is already inside you. So this is the February, um, tag for our feathers and that's going to be in the sapphire so i just dropped my hope whispers tag all right let me see what your comments say 
Um, thank you for all the love, everybody. Yeah, I, I feel like January just does that. Mo, I'm reading your comment. It does fly by, and then you feel like, wow, I don't feel like I got a lot done. But you know what? I think we're wrong there. I think we actually do get <laughs> way more done than what we think. Um, April, I'm so glad that you're cutting things out. That's why I tried to talk a little bit in the beginning with everybody to give people time. Um, let's see, Christy, go run those errands, girl. Um, we'll be here. All right. Well, I am very excited um, to just share this with you all. Uh, there are going, I'll share, we'll take a little break, I guess, in between. I am going to be doing um, some other sew alongs this month. I actually planned a fair amount of sew alongs this month. Um, as always, if you want to know when sew alongs are going to be, join my free Facebook group. It's uh, Jen. Thunderbird Handcrafted with Genevieve. Um, I'll make sure that link is in here as well. Uh, and that, I usually try to make events in our free Facebook group so that you can RSVP and get the, like RSVP, -P, um, RSVP reminder in Facebook. But then I'll also make sure that the scheduled YouTube link is in the details um, of that as well. I do send out emails, so if you're not part of my Color Theory for Crafters email, um, I'll make sure that link is here too at the end. Um, that sends out, I send out email reminders. Um, I actually sent this reminder way early because I forgot that I had even scheduled it. Um, but for the most part, I try to make sure that it is all correct and right um, so that we can share together. Okay. Um, other other little pieces that I'm I'm putting in this. So we have our zipper tape, and you actually need a fairly decent size of zipper tape for this. So just keep that in mind. My first one I was going to use um, antique silver, and I realized I was out of that. So make sure you have enough of the zipper tape that you need. Uh, I am also using one inch webbing from Dream Big um, for my handle. Uh, I have a little woven. Um, it says Stay Fearless. Um, woven tag with a little dragon on the back that's from Wonderground and then I am also going to this one I did not put it on my first one but I am going to put the pen so I have a little bit of the pretty elastic one inch elastic to put a pen holder these pens I got off of Amazon they come in like a big pack of them but if you do sew to sell I think it's always nice if you do put a pen um loop in a pattern it's nice to make sure that there's a new pen there for somebody um i can share that link over in the event um over on the group and then um i also made a tassel because i have these zipper pulls from saya swag and this uh is made with a template from jolie lee creations um so that's what we're we're doing with our zipper pull so I'm, I always keep like a little baggie of all of my stuff just so I have it and I don't lose it by my sewing area so I think that's everything Cindy correct I interfaced everything um I will say this like I said don't read your pattern make sure that you don't cut it out wrong so I'm going to show you this was the first one that I cut this morning I woke up at 6 30 this morning I was like I need to get all this prepped and I did this all right you want to cut on the fold on the right direction now I'm going to use this for another pattern um, to test the pattern I'm doing a sew along for this month you do not want your pieces to look like that you want your pieces to look like this okay <laughs> so just keep that in mind I'm also wearing, I did not show you guys my shirt. So if you didn't know, one of my sew besties um, is Katie over at My Little Shindig. Um, she had, like I said, she has the Fabric Club um, and she's going to be doing so many great things with her Fabric Club this year. Um, she, she sent me a shirt um, that is a sneak peek of an upcoming club. I think you can probably still join um, and receive it. Um, but this shirt is so cute. I don't know if this is turned around. I, hopefully you guys are able to read it properly. On my end, it looks like it's backwards. But it says, don't worry, be happy. And it's donuts. And I had sent her these cute little coffee and donuts earrings when I knew that that was one of the themes 
of her club. So um, that's that's coming out this month. So make sure you go over and follow my little shindig because it's super cute, um, the fabric. All right, we're going to get to it. So we're going to start with our notching of our pieces. I have a piece of vinyl um, that's going to go on the exterior binding area. And then I have one of my um, cotton pieces that's going to be the exterior as well. So we want to not get our notches in place, get our, our centers in place. And for this one, um, you want to just make sure you're doing the top and the bottom because we're not doing the sides since this is a non non fraying fabric. So I'm going to turn you guys down, down to the sail right fabricator. And we're going to we're going to get these notches in place where we need them to be. Yeah, it's just been it's been a kind of rough. It's been a good, amazing month. Like I think that's just so important try to keep myself in perspective of like like the other things in life that are going on like the print pre-order this is our second print pre-order and it's going so well I'm so thankful I feel like everybody like the, my husband and I were actually tally, tallying some of um, what was ordered and I'm so happy people are finding prints that they like and and bases that they like um, some of the things that have been made by my strikers and then people who ordered on the first um, print pre-order. Uh, gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous things are being made. You apparel, Sois. I'm... I just want to sew my own clothes this year. Like, I really need to make... I really need to make the time to do that. talk to us. Sorry about that. All right. So I have a piece of vinyl here. That's going to be my, my center binding. I have my notches in place and I'm just going to run two pieces of double-sided tape, um, down either side of it. And I buy my double-sided tape from sale, right? Um, I've used a lot of people's double-sided tape and for some reason I feel like maybe because it's the first one I ever used I don't know but I feel like and one my cell right can really handle the stickiness I feel like that's the that's the stuff I kind of just that's what I turn to all right so now we're going to just line this up um, we're going to line the top part. We're going to make sure that it's flush. Okay. So on the top of, of our piece, it's, this is going to be flush on the bottom. It's going to be turned. Well, going to, going to hang over a little bit. All right. And I just want to make sure that I'm straight. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. And I have a little bit too much tape on the end here that I'm going to have to pull off. So I'm not sticking on everything the whole time we're sewing here. I just have my Kona cotton um, fused with fusible fleece. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just make a nice top stitch down both the sides. Um, Cindy did uh, two, two stitches down, so I think we're going to do that. I think we'll do the, the double top stitch. It, looks, it makes it look really nice finished. So let's... Let's just do that. Can you guys all see okay? Am I positioned well? My little Happy Meal, <laughs> my little Happy Meal uh, clip 
keeper isn't in the way too much. Alrighty. I feel like it's sunny out today, but it's not coming in my room. Um, I feel like there, I need a lot more light. All right, I'm at a four stitch length. I did already check. This is one thing that I've, I've been trying to get in a better habit of before I sit down to sew, is checking my tension with the actual fabric that I'm using, okay? I think that's just, it's one of the things like from an industrial to a domestic, um, like my, my domestic now has an automatic um, tension setter for my thread. Um, which is nice, but if on my industrial, it's always about playing and making sure from my last project to the next, how do my stitches look? Um, if you want to make things look really nice and professional, make sure that you do that. And again, I'm sorry you're going to see my wrangly fingers. <laughs> I'm really so lucky um, that it wasn't, wasn't worse. All right, so we're just going to do this top stitch. I'm just doing an eighth of an inch down. And then I'm just gonna do one stitch and then come back the other direction. And I'm just gonna follow my stitch line. Just gonna knot these off at the end just so they're not in my way. So I can clip them and my top threads there don't. Okay, now we're gonna do the same here. And start up top here. And this vinyl um that's like velvet uh, i cannot remember where i bought it i have it in red and black i wish i could remember where i bought it because i think it would be really pretty um for like valentine's bags it just gives it kind of this like luxurious feel to it where I got it so I'm sorry if you know of a shop that has um, velvet vinyl feel free to pop it in the comments because I figured maybe maybe others would husband had a work day shift again today. I think that's also the reason my month has felt really weird. My husband is a um, electromechanic at a warehouse um, and he's actually, he's been there for, well, probably going on 22 years that he's been there. And January, well, and now into February, they've been working every weekend. So it's really weird, you know, after I've been home for so long, Granted, we've gotten to see each other during the week, but then he has to get ready for work and go. So we've always just had our weekends together, and we just haven't had a weekend together because um, he's been working overtime. Don't get me wrong. The money is nice when, so when he's working overtime, but it definitely um, it cuts into our <clears throat> our time together, you know? All right, I'm not going to be adding the D-rings to the um, the strap. I'm just gonna, going to be um, adding a strap to it. So I need to measure. 
this is a part I didn't do before, so I need to see how far I need to measure up here. <laughs> Cindy. Okay, two inches. There it is. There it is. All right, so I need my strap. I'm probably going to have to go over to my table because I am going to rivet this. First, I gotta make sure that both my edges of my webbing are singed down. I think this webbing um, that I'm using here, it's supposed to be um, like Nightmare Before Christmas, like Jack Skeleton, um, you know, cause it has like the stripes. Um, but I thought it it's gonna look nice with this. Right? I don't think it looks too like Halloween-y, right? Okay. So we're gonna measure. I found it, Cindy, thank you. Um, so we're gonna measure three and in two inches from our top. And I think what I'll just do, just to hold hold it in place, I'm just gonna use a piece of double-sided tape. since I'm not doing the, um, the D-rings. Come on. The velvet does not like the double-sided tape right away. Okay. Two inches. Okay. There's the one. And now the other one is three inches. feel like I'm right. Maybe I had too much. Maybe I had, oh, do I have too much webbing for the size of? Maybe that's what is wrong. Maybe I need a little less. Yeah. I think, I think I cut this maybe too long, Cindy. Let me go measure it. All right, I have 10 inches here. I think I'm just gonna do eight inches. Maybe with the D-rings, that's why. Maybe. Or I just didn't measure it properly. <laughs> which can totally, which is totally possible. <laughs> uh. Let's do three inches again. Yeah, I guess, I, I think, I, yeah. Allow you to, oh, your hand, oh, that makes sense, okay. All right, well, I think eight's gonna work. I think eight's gonna, for what I'm doing, cause I, I think, yeah, I think that, and then I'm just gonna go, since I'm not doing the 
Yeah, since I'm not doing the D rings, I don't need the double. I don't need the double guide, right? But Cindy did. This is so nice that she gave you this little. I must say that right now for Cindy, just since she's here. <laughs> Cindy's patterns are so nice to cut out and piece together. The fact that she, um, oh, oh, to fold the ends in. I see, I see, I see. Um, the fact that she, like her pattern pieces, for anybody who's cut out this pattern, puts the little area for you to put a glue stick <laughs> and you don't have to fudge that yourself which is so nice, I have to tell you. Okay, um, all right, so I'm going to just mark a half an inch in, I think, oh, maybe a quarter, I think I'm gonna do a quarter inch. And then I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna put my rivets at the quarter inch. On both sides. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take you guys over with me to my other table. Isn't it? Cindy, it's, a, it's the thought that counts, girlfriend. I'm telling you. I think that is such a nice piece of your pattern. And I know, sorry for the weird angle, y'all. Um, I'm very thankful for, for it, that you do that. Um, because it is very, very helpful when you're piecing everything together. So I'm going to do my rivets now. I know I usually don't show this part, but I figured today we're just going to... We're going to spend our time together. So I have had my cam press for a while now. If you don't have one, it's worth the investment. I would definitely, um, if you're waiting for them to go on sale, I feel like every Black Friday, the um, kit, like to get all the dyes and everything, I feel like that's when it, that's when I've seen it go on sale every time. So, if you can wait that long. And I'm just using whatever the smallest rivet number is. Is that eight millimeter? I think nine is the bigger one, right? Yeah, for a while I could not bend the finger, one finger that was hurt, so. Oh, I think I need to go through that again. So, sewing was not even an option, really, until it healed up enough that I could bend my, my middle finger. It was, I was really lucky. Okay, all right. All right, now the other side. But I did get a lot of computer work done. In order to do the pre-order, like I like to make a spreadsheet I'm, sometimes I guess I'm too organized that I'm not organized, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I've been working on making a spreadsheet for my supplier so I can send all the prints in. And then I was making a spreadsheet for all the different colored dyed fabrics I want to do this year. I'm very excited about 
it getting warm enough to be outdoors. And at the dye station again. As much as I do like, I don't get to sew a lot, you know, in the summertime, so. Okay, so we got them all on. Now we can press them. And I got those rivets. I think my small ones are from Indo Love Creation. Um, I did just recently get longer ones because I was doing a lot of thicker projects where I needed the, I think the bigger ones are nine millimeter, maybe. That's correct. Um, I did just get a bunch of rivets from Lauren. More we know. So if you need rivets, those two places I know for sure have them. felt like I was trying to do different projects and I had no hardware like everybody's like I needed hardware for everything <laughs> and I feel like I always have so much hardware all right there we go oh that's gonna look so great I see I wished when I was done with the last one I was like man I should have put a handle on it looks awesome okay let's go back over to the sewing table all right Let's take a look at it together. I'll make sure that I'm positioned correctly. All right, here we go. So far, so good. Looking nice. <clears throat> what? Okay. Where are we at next, Cindy? with our tag, we're doing our tag next. Our tag, Cindy, I am sending you one of these. All right, so here's our tag. Hope Whispers, try one more time. <laughs> I feel like, is that my, maybe cause this was the first tag I um, designed for this year. Maybe that's gonna be, <laughs> I hope it's, I mean, it's a good motto, but I hope it's not, a prelude of what Jan what the rest of 2024 is going to be for me. Oh, okay. So we're gonna measure um, one and three eighths up from the bottom and one inch from your your 90 degree angle. So one. Let me let me pull it up here. See. So one and three eighth. Yep. Yeah, one and three eighth up here. And then one from here. Does that make sense, you guys? All right. So I'm going to do that. One, two. Three eighths. One, two, three. I'm just going to mark a little tiny mark. And then one inch from there. Okay. And then I'm gonna, oh, you guys probably sh should be seeing this, right? You shouldn't be seeing my face. <laughs> Let's reposition ourselves here. There we go. And just so I don't lose you, we're gonna plug in the phone while we're here. Sorry if I'm in your way for a second. There we go. All right, I always worry that my battery's gonna die while I'm live. All right, so that's where our tag needs to go. Yeah, Jade and I talked last night. There's so many, f we have some, I, oh, so many fun things coming. Um, so starting April? No, March. Starting March, um, every dynamic fabric kit will have two exclusive designed Heartwood and Hide tags that go with the theme of the dynamic fabric kit. 
If you don't know what my dynamic fabric kit is, it is not a subscription. That's the first thing um, because I'm one human and I don't have the capacity to make it a subscription. Um, but it is a kit that comes with two hand dyed fabrics and um, it has color theory cards that tell you what colors coordinate with those two fabrics. And um, let me just concentrate a second here. Um, and it also like gives you like some color theory story. So like if you wanted to market whatever you make with it, um, there's some verbiage and lingo for you to be able to use. And then it also comes with um, coupon codes from specific So Bestie shops. Um, so that's like the main premise is to encourage you to coordinate my hand dyed fabrics with stuff from your stash or to find other things and to use color theory in your makes. That's the whole premise around it. Um, I played with different things that I've added to the dynamic fabric kit over the past since I started it last May. Um, but I really felt like I wanted to hone in more on things. So you'll get two tags now that coordinate with that month's kit. And you'll also get two fat quarters. Um, and that will start in May. Um, that you'll get two fat quarters that coordinate print fat quarters in Kona cotton that coordinate um, with the hand dyed fabric. So I'm so excited about it because um, now knowing the designs and what we're doing, it's very exciting. I feel like, um, not that they weren't already kind of coveted kits because um, up until uh, December, we pretty much sold out of the kits like every month. There's only 15 of them, so um, there aren't many. Now we are gonna up um, the number we make to 20 a month. Um, starting for next, when I start the next cycle, which would be June. Um, but they do sell out pretty fast. We, I think I have maybe one of December's left. And I have like three or four of January's left. Um, and I just figured that's because it is, it is somewhat of a slower, um, month you know and um also i think the pre-orders um you know people might not have saw that they are even there so but i'm february's i think february get your trigger fingers ready because i february's the colors i think are gonna well, I know they're very popular colors. They are usually, every time I've sold these two colors, they've sold out really fast, so. And February's isn't gonna release until Galentine's Day. So, if you're not part of my Patreon, I always give my Patreons um, for certain levels you get early access, so. Cindy is also, she was working on a bag with one of, one of February's, which was really cool. I know, Cindy, you're trying to figure out a concept that would look, but I think it turned out, I think it turned out cool. I've thought about doing that so many times. So I'm excited for you to share it with people. I hope you will still share it. Um, okay. So now it's time, we're done with the with our exterior for now. So, I mean, look how nice this is gonna look. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hi, Yesenia, how are you doing, lady? All right, so now we need our, our interior piece. And this was, I'll just be real honest. This is where Cindy starts teaching us she starts schooling us. <laughs> All right. So um, we are going to I, get our centers. Okay. Get your center. We want that. 
I learned, I, I learned something doing this. And I did not watch a video, Cindy. I, I like to try to do a pattern without watching a video. I mean, that's kind of, it's, that's the challenge for me. Um, and this is where I have to look at her instructions to make sure I understand it again. <laughs> All right, so Cindy used in her pattern, you're gonna see she used water resistant canvas for the pattern for you to, to um, see it. But what we're gonna do is we are going to, I don't know why I have that, that edge there. We're gonna just clip that off. Okay, um, we are going to, where's my, there it is. We're gonna go to these, these angles here, our 90 degree angles, okay? And um, we wanna, from the top, from looking at it, so this is gonna be your left, right? So from your left, we're gonna go from our 90 degree angle and we're gonna measure down 3 eighths, okay? And we're gonna put, can you guys see, am I showing you? Yeah, so 3 eighths down from our angle, we're gonna put a little mark, okay? And then, From that mark, measure three eighths out and put another mark. Okay, so I have two marks here. Good? Good. Right? Cindy, holler at me <laughs> if I'm not right. I think I'm right, though. Um, and then... We're gonna do the same thing here from our 90 degree. Do you guys see where I'm at? From our 90 degree, I'm gonna measure 3 eighths. All right, and then from that mark, I'm gonna measure another 3 eighths. Okay? So I have two dots here, two dots here. She's like, I didn't hear. We're good. I'm just telling them, like, this part. This was, I mean, you really taught us something with this. So that's why I'm trying to trying to take my time to show everybody. So we have two marks on the top, two marks on the bottom, um, on our left-hand side of our interior, okay? And now what we're going to do, and this is scary, right? We're going to go and we're going to draw a line from our corner, from our 90 degree angle to that outside dot, okay? Just like that. From our corner to our dot. Just like that. All right. Oh, I wish I could tell you where the vinyl was from. Um, oh gosh, I wanna say they had the word sweetness in their name, but it's not so sweetness. I, I had bought, and I wish I still, you know, like, I wish that I have red too, and I don't, oh, I'll have to look it up, but uh, I don't even know if they're still in business. They used to have jellies, like when jelly vinyl was first really big, um, and they had the velvet, and I bought it, I wanna say I bought it last year, probably around this time time period. Um, I can't remember, I'll have to go, but I'm gonna have to search for it a little bit, because I figured people would wanna know where, where to get the vinyl, um, the velvet vinyl, is that what you're asking? This here is in vinyl, this is Kona Cotton Interfaced with fusible fleece. And this feathers uh, print is available on my website, which is thunderbirdhandcrafted.com. All right, so now we're gonna draw a line to our two dots. So we have our, our dot 
on the angle here, straight line, and then our dot on the angle, okay? And then the scary part happens. So now we're going to cut, we're going to cut to that dot. Oh, Cindy, this made me so nervous. It's making me nervous again, even though I know what we're gonna do. All right, and I'm just gonna cut along my line here. All right, so now we have this strip and we have this piece here, all right? So, I have to read the instructions here, you guys, because this was new for me. Um, so along the drawn line, okay, so we're going to mark our center mark, but we're not going to, make sure you're not doing it too deep, okay? You want to, because we're, it's going to have like a very small seam allowance, so don't, don't make it a big, make it just a little baby, all right? And do the same on this. Just a little baby mark. Okay. So, there we go. Now, lay. Okay, so now we have our pockets. I'm gonna get my pocket and I'm using the velvet for my pocket <sighs> all right so I'm gonna measure I want to use to draw here. I need a vinyl pen. Okay, so I'm going to measure from the left edge. I'm going to draw a line. All right, so I don't need this little one, I need this one. Draw a line, half of an inch. I have my half inch line there. And we're gonna fold it wrong size together to meet that line like so. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna clip it. We're gonna clip it good. I don't know where your mind gets this idea, but it worked, girl. It's and it's kind of cool because it's a very um it's a very unique way to turn something, so I really liked it a lot. So we're gonna I, one, it was also one of the reasons that I was like, people need to see how this is done. So, I'm excited to share it. And we're just going to clip this in place. I probably should have made my little mark, little notch there. Just a tiny one. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Okay. And now... We're going to top stitch this here, okay? On down through. Correct? I am correct. All right, we're gonna set, we're gonna set these aside because we did already make our little notch. And we're gonna top stitch this, this way. 
So just the way I'm, I have it here, that's how we're gonna top stitch it. I'm correct, right? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 okay. All right, so we're gonna top stitch this. vinyl does sew up so nice so I need to find where I got it I don't know if they still are in business or if um, they still sell it but it does sew up really nice all right so top stitch along this now what we're gonna do is we are going to get match the center point of the right side. So this one here, right? Yes. Okay, so I need to make sure I have my center there, which I didn't do. So we're gonna get this piece in this piece, all right, and I wish my printer, okay, and then we're going to take this piece, we're going to flip it like so, and match up our center, And we're just gonna sew to our little dot marks, okay? So to our, right where the 90, like the little angle is. Just an eighth of an inch seam allowance, okay? So I need to change my stitch length. And we're gonna Start right, right in that little there. Now I'm going to back stitch the beginning and the end. Yep, yep, yep. But we're just going to do a very narrow seam here, eighth of an inch. Quite genius, Cindy. This is very okay. We're doing all this just so we're able to turn everything out. Okay, so oh, I didn't catch it there though. That wasn't good. Let's go back in there and make sure we catch it. I got off of my vinyl a little bit. There's that. See, see, see. All right. Now, now we need our other pocket piece. We're just going to set this to the side for now. Our other pocket piece. And I need my woven label. 
Is this where, oh, poopers. Did I, uh, did I miss my opportunity to put my uh, pen holder in, Cindy? See, I didn't do that the last time, so that's where I'm like, I don't think so. I guess I, I could put it on here, right? Yes, I put it on here. We're okay. Right? Oh. Okay, yeah. I didn't miss it. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Now I just need to think about what I want to be able to see. Place a pen loop along the left edge. Like so, correct? Yep. Two inches. Yeah, we're on the other pocket, so we're good. We're good, right? Yeah. We were doing the right side, now we're doing the left side. So there's the pen. And then I'm going to put where do I want to put this? It doesn't really matter, right? I think I want it kind of close to here. I could do three if I wanted to. I'm wondering if I should do three because I have that, my pen is, is, a uh, has this, like, big bulky top. Will it still fit all right? I wonder. And I probably should bring this out. What's our seam allowance here? Three eight. So I probably should bring it out a little bit. I always like to put a little bit of sticky for the woven tag so that they don't move on me. Alrighty, so now we're gonna fold this in half. Correcto mundo. Right? All right, so now we're going to sew three eighths of an inch seam allowance. I always like to put my seam, a seam guide for my three eighths. Yep, right sides together. Now we're going to 
clip this baby. Oh, we're gonna clip our, right? We clip both. Just a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be fun to turn though, the velvet. We can do it, we can do it. And then I should hold these down with clippies. Do we top stitch both? Okay, turn my pocket right. I need to just read. Turn my pockets. Flat my seam, top stitch with eighth of an inch. Okay. Well, my dragon's going to be the one that shows. I should have thought about that if I wanted the other one to show. It's okay. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, yelling at myself to just read my directions? All right, so we're gonna top stitch this seam so that it lays nice and flat. Does anybody else do that while they're sewing, yell at themselves to read the directions? I think that's a normal Normal, uh, normal occurrence when I sew. Okay. Now. We're going to get our big piece back. All right. And we're going to measure. From the 90 degree anger angle measure half of an inch. So right here. Right? Oh, this way. Half of an inch. Right? Yep. And put a little mark. And then we're going to do the same here. of an inch, put another mark. I need to be able to see these marks pretty good. Should I top stitch the other fold too? Yeah. I need to top stitch the beforehand. Cause isn't this gonna Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna listen to the pattern maker. All right, top stitch both sides of this.
Yes, no. <laughs> Too late. All right. It's okay, though. I, <laughs> I understand what we're doing, I think. I'll just go over it. All right. So what we're going to do, no, the seam will go against the lines you drew. Yeah, it's okay. We got it. We can figure it out. I think it's okay that I top stitched it. All right. <laughs> we got it. We're okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put um, some double sided. Is this how I'm turning it though? No. The other one is how we turn it. Align the seam of the pocket to the marks. Clipped all in place. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to put some double-sided tape there because it'll make it easy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put some double-sided tape on my piece here. Okay. Yeah. We're good. We're just going to go right over our stitch anyways. So we're going to align right over those that marking I made that we just did. We're going to line this piece up there. Okay. And then since I can't see where that dot is, I'm going to take my vinyl pen just so I can see where I need to stop my stitches and just make a mark. Because that's what you're doing. That's why you did that is you want to know where do you stop your your stitches. Okay. We're good. What? The seam with the tags goes by the... <laughs> oh, Cindy. We're gonna, we're gonna try one more time. <laughs> so this goes, the seam here goes here, correct? So if I want, okay. Okay, okay. We got this, we can do it. I'm trusting you because I feel like I just confused myself. <laughs> and everybody's like, no, <laughs> you're just confused. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put some double sided tape here, right? This is right. Thank God for Cindy being here. We would, I would be, it would be a hot mess. Now we're going to position it over our marks. Yep. And we're going to mark where our, where our stitches stop. Yep, yep, yep. And now we're going to start our stitches there. <clears throat> Are we using a top stitch here, I think? Okay. And then we're going to back stitch the beginning of the end, but we're going to start at our little mark and end at our little mark that we made that way.
it. We're getting there. We're we're maneuvering. Okay, so that's like that. Correct? Oh yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> oh, Cindy. All right, next piece of the puzzle. All right, we're going to base along the top and the bottom, but we're gonna start at the 90 degree angle. All right. So, we just wanna start right there. And we're just gonna baste across the top. Just to hold it in place. Now, it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. Okay. Little Celine Dion. <clears throat> I heard that Celine Dion is, she was sick. I guess that's old news. I heard that. It's weird, like, as we get older, the things in pop culture that you paid attention to when you were a kid. <laughs> How you pay attention to that. Okay. So now, we're going to grab our other piece. This baby. And we're going to flip it this way. All right. So... <clears throat> we're going to have this piece line up with this side. All right, so I'm just going to clip that. But I'm also going to pull these up out of the way. Actually, I want one of my... doing this wrong uh. short edges short edges why does it not look like that on my You have the correct size together, but the short piece. Oh. Oh, because this has to get in there, isn't it? I'm, the overhang will fold up. I'm so confused because I feel like, th I feel like this is how I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me just sit for a second. Do not sew this side oh so this no the overhang will be closed this overhang this here i am so confused now cindy let me read it let me let me read it Lay the interior right side up with the short 
edge. With the short edge of the back right pocket. Line the arm, not the, oh my God. This here? Yeah. You're, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for staying with me, y'all. <laughs> like this. Correct? Like that. And then this, these get pinned up like this. Because it has to know. It's not right either. What am I doing wrong? Short edge, short edge this but i feel like that's lay the interior right side up let's just read it together with the short edge i'm guessing this is the short edge this here Right? This here, this piece here is the short edge. Right, Cindy? This piece right here. Of the back right pocket. Or this is the short edge. Like, this here is the short edge. I'm waiting to see if the no, if that's the no. Yes, this here, this here is the short edge. So I'm lining that up. Am I, so I'm overhanging this like that. feel like maybe I did my other one wrong. Let me go. Let me get my other one. Okay, so this here, so what you're saying, I'm just making sure I'm correct. So on this side, it's gonna look like this. And I'm gonna stitch this. See, this isn't how I did my other one and I, I think it still turned out right. Correct. Correct. Okay. We're going to do it your way. I don't remember how, how I accomplished it the last time, but it worked. <laughs> All right. So we line 
that half inch mark to this. You're only stitching the sides, not the long edge. Correct, okay, yeah, okay. So, but we're just making sure that that's the line that is overhanging, right? And then this is going like so. These are coming back up here like this. Yep. And now we're stay stitching these. Yes. I don't know what I did, but I did it differently. <laughs> Cause I don't, I know I didn't do it this way. All right. So we're just gonna stitch a stay stitch from that little corner mark. Correct. Yep. Sorry, everybody. It took me so long. Gosh, thank goodness for you, Cindy. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I'm like, I do do know how to sew. It's just my brain. Okay. So now we have that done. Now Cindy has, if you want to put your um, bookmarker in here, you can. I'm not doing that because I didn't have any pretty ribbon. And then we're going to get preparing our zipper. Next is our zipper. So this, for now, can get set aside. zipper and my zipper pull of well I don't need my zipper pull yet all right so I have my zipper I'm just gonna clip to make this even all right so five eighths we're gonna measure And Cindy does it the fancy way. She sews it. I'm just gonna burn mine. <laughs> I think that it's, I'm glad that you're here so that, cause I, I know I did it differently. I can't tell you how I did it differently. <laughs> but I did it different uh, my first time. I have my fan going, you guys. And it's not letting me, my lighter do its job. Okay, now she makes us even more nervous by separating our zipper tape. <laughs> All right.
now. We need our exterior piece. And we're going to measure one inch up on all of our tabs. And then we're gonna, do, I'm just gonna use a little bit of double-sided tape to fold it up. So we're gonna do that for all of them. Here he comes, everybody. Here comes the guy. If you don't know, I have my soul dog, Apollo. And he comes with me everywhere. I don't know what he's gonna do when... Hi, bubs. You wanna say hi? Nope, you're gonna run away. Or do you want a treat? Is that what you're here for? Did I measure that one right? I think I did. Sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I only measured half of an inch. But it's, it's folded up half an inch. Hiya. Hiya. Okay, okay, let me get, let me get a treaty. Sit. Yeah, today was, I mean, this week was an adventurous week. My daughter at college called. She cracked her screen on her laptop. Oh, it was like one thing after another. Mo, you just ordered your black feathers? What did you order them in? Did you just order them in the Kona or did you order them in a different base? Thank you for your orders as always. Okay, so we need to do that to our lining also. The black feathers, so far out of all the feathers, I think the black ones and also like also the topaz ones, I, the browns, I, I have a thing about browns. Um, I just think they, those are my two favorites. Um, I'm gonna be drawing I have two more colors that I want to do, um, and I want to get some samples of those um, pre-ordered. Possibly three more. I had tried a pastel. Um, oh, that's not an inch, is it? That's not an inch, Jenna. No. See, that's not an inch. That's an inch. I'm talking and not paying attention. Um, I still I still want at least two more colors, I know for sure, but I tried a pastel one and I feel like I didn't have the right um, blends of color. Oh, sorry, I bumped you guys. Um, the blends of color right. And so I wanna try, try the pastel one again. If I can do a pastel rainbow one, I, I'd like to do that. <clears throat> if I can get the color blends right. Okay, there's that one. Now this side, I'm gonna go back and double check my measurements on my exterior. Apollo's getting restless. Go down to Brev. Is there obviously oh canvas the um the basket weave canvas i love the feathers on the basket weave because it gives them like dimension i 
And the basket we've interfaced, it sews like vinyl, I feel. But it's still, like, for anybody who has a domestic machine, I feel like it's still, you know, good and versatile, like a heavy duty for a domestic. Okay. So there's my interior is done. Let me just double check my measurements were correct Amundo over here. Yeah, they were not. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. You can do it. That one's right. The other one's right. I mean, it, it might have just been one. The one that I said to you. I'm like, am I doing this? Yes. Okay. It was just one that needed fixed. All right. So we have our exterior. Now we're going to do the zipper. So align the zipper. The angled part of the zipper with the top of your gusset. Okay. So this piece here, nope, 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 not that one. This one. So we're just going to clip this like so. I don't know, are there any other colored um, feathers you guys would like me to do? I feel like I have the black, the topaz is browns. Sapphires is blue. The ruby feathers are reds. We have golden feathers, which are yellows. We have the rainbow feathers. Oh, we will have emerald feathers, which those are available on the pre-order. Um, I'll have the, um, the retail for that will be in March. Uh, let me know if there's any other color feathers you want me to do. Okay, so I'm just going to set this one piece aside. And we're going to use an eighth of an inch to baste. And I suggest, I know some people don't baste their zippers. I do suggest for this pattern that you do baste it. I think that it makes it look nice. So I'm just going to make sure that my zipper is in the right position here. We're just doing an eighth of an inch basting stitch. Side. 
Did you get yourself a tag, Mo? Bumped you guys. Move over this so that. Now we're just doing the same thing to the other side, laying our right side of our zipper to the right side of our exterior. And we're going to baste this on with an eighth of an inch. Good, good, good. I'm excited about the tags, you guys. I feel like each month the tag um, goes so well with the feathers. I'm very excited about it. All right, I'm going to try something that usually doesn't work for me. But I feel like when you're putting a zipper on, I like to start my zipper at the same place. Do you know what do you get what I'm saying? Like if I, I don't want to start the zipper on the bottom because I feel like it could, it moves sometimes. So I usually don't like sewing along this side, right? Like I usually like, probably cause I'm right handed, but I feel like to make sure my zipper is on nicely. feels awkward to sew like down this side. Do you get what I'm saying? But once it's basted on then wait for you guys to see the tags that um that we're doing for um for march for the bookish tags oh mg um they're so good all right so we have our zipper on now now we're going What am I doing? Am I on the right page? Yes. Okay. Align the exterior. Oh, here. I'm getting ahead. All right. So we, now we need our, our interior and our exterior. Okay. And we're going to... Okay, this is where Cindy, I might help you because need your help from you because I did not. Um, I don't. I'm not sure if I did it correctly the last time. All right. So first things first. I'm going to. Align the exterior and interior right side along the basted, basted edges, which is our basted. Okay, basted edges, which is these, correct? No, this is, this is it. You're okay, Cindy. I think I I think I'm all right. I think I'm good. Okay. 
So I'm just clipping along the zipper um, basted areas on the, the zipper panel areas. All right. Now I'm gonna do the same over here. M matching these so that they look nice. tab ends. Can't wait to see this all together. I feel like it's gonna look so pretty together. So I have those. All right, now I'm on the other page. So sew both arm gussets. So we have a quarter inch seam allowance on both, both of our zipper gusset areas. So we're gonna do quarter inch down both sides. Back stitch the beginning and the end. And this does kind of feel awkward because you have your your tabs there. So if you need to fold it in on itself, There's one side. Now we're gonna do this side. I'm sorry you guys are getting a nice, a nice chest view. <laughs> make sure that the bottom of your zipper is straight there so that when we go to tuck it in it's, it looks flat. getting somewhere now, Cindy. All right, take all my clips off here a second. All right, now yep, yep, yep. To reduce the bulk Oh, turn the entire piece. That's what we're doing. We're turning, we're turning it around. Which is going to feel weird because a 
of how it turns. Oh, goodness. Look, that part didn't stay stay stitched. It pulled right out. Poopers. Well, I didn't have it caught enough. We're gonna, I can still get in there and do it. Just to keep it in place. All right. Ooh, sorry, I bumped you. All right, so we have it turned right side out. And now Cindy has us uh, clipping clip angles at the folds at the ends of the arms gussets. Do not snip into any stitching or zipper tape. Oh, okay. So these here, but you want to pull your um, zipper tape away. Cindy's so profesh. I like that about you, Cindy. Okay, press along the folds, edges for top stitching. All right, so we're not pressing. <laughs> After I just tell Cindy she's so prof so, so profesh, um, it does definitely help for the top stitching part, for sure. So I'm just going to clip the one and I'm, what I'm going to do, though, is I am going to, like, pull my gussets and clip just so it kind of holds it where I want it to be. Now, here's where, oh, Cindy, see, I didn't do it this way. I'm, I must have did something, something different. I don't know what I did with how I turned it the last time, but. <laughs> Cindy's like, I don't press either. It, it is good, though, to press, right? It, it is a step that. Honestly, it is a it is a good practice to press everything. It does make everything look so much cleaner. That's for sure. That is the one nice thing about the Kona cotton. It is a little bit thicker of a cotton, so it does allow you to really like nicely finger press. So for those of you who are getting the Kona cotton, just keep that in mind. It does allow you to finger press pretty nicely. And it does press nice too. Um, you know, like when you iron it, it does, it does iron very nice. I will admit that. Okay. Now we're going to top stitch right along our 
We top stitch from the 90 degree, right? Like from here. I need to, I can't see on, on your, no, we don't top stitch that part yet. Just from our zipper down. So, I'm gonna pull some tails through. Top stitch length. You just want to make sure as you're going down through, you're trying to be straight. How are my top stitches looking? They're looking good. Okay. through the other side. All right, now the other side. It's looking good. I feel like the child size would work for a regular book, don't you think? That was kind of why I wanted to make it to see if the child size, like, I don't have little kids with Bibles anymore big kids um but I was thinking for like a regular book especially um I don't know if anybody's seen this on bookstagram <laughs> um but the annotating that people do like where they have like all their little poster notes and highlighters thought it might be a pretty cool pattern for that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I wish I did. The creativity part of that would make me like, it's just a whole other thing to get involved in. But I actually like that would definitely be something Back in the day when my kids were little, it would have been something I probably would have got into as an additional, like, crafting act activity. Um, I used to do Bible journaling, like, with stamping and all of that. Actually, I could get my... I think I have it here, the one that I... Do I have it in here? I might have it in here. Maybe when we're done here, I'll show that to you. I'll see if it's... I think it might be up on my shelf here. <clears throat> One of my good friends owns um, Sweet and Sassy Stamps. Um, her name is Corinne. And uh, she's moved away now, but she used to live here. 
Um, we went to high school together. And uh, she developed and designed her own um, rubber stamp company. And it's all um, Christian-based rubber stamps. And she does a lot of Bible journaling. Um, but really, really beautiful different designs. She's so talented. Okay. So we have that. And now we're going to turn the entire piece wrong side. So Cindy said um, the child size is great for a book. I think so too. I think it'll be a good size for like regular books as well. All right. Now, now what do we do, Cindy? Now we're going to mark our, our places for our zipper areas, correct? So, measure the arm height. That's right. So, she had this measure our arm height. So I think this is where it could change a little depending on on how you cut, I'm guessing. So mine is five and three eighths there. And I'm gonna mark that here. do the same over here. I'm going to measure this one. Which is also quarter. Clip that to that. Hi, Christy. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't. Well, you missed you missed me being thoroughly confused, <laughs> and not due to Cindy, <laughs> due to my own brain. But we're we're figuring it out. just clipping our zipper panel pieces measuring them out and then clipping them and then this side here it's pretty much you're lining up that angle piece
wait to see this turned right side out. clips here. I'm grabbing everything but clips. What have you guys been binge watching on TV lately? When I didn't feel good this past week. Has anybody ever watched the Poldark series? It was um, it was a masterpiece theater thing. It's on Amazon Prime. I've I'm pretty sure it's a book um, to a to a like mini series. I never read the books. Um, but it's a good little mini series, British um, historical romance, and I forgot how much. And I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I forgot how much I hate how they ended it, the series. And so I watched that, and then I was like thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> all right, so I have all of these clipped, and now we are going to mm -mm -mm. I'm just trying to find my seam allowance here three eighths three eighths so I'm going to get my seam guide here and I'm just gonna do a 3 8 seam allowance on all of these it it has a some it, I don't know how to explain it it has an ending that just kind of is like I feel like it shouldn't be the end and because I didn't read the books I don't know if like maybe the mini series like Maybe they thought they were going to get another season and then it wasn't renewed um, or Masterpiece Theater stopped. I don't know if, you know, like Masterpiece Theater used to be on PBS, right? Like where Downton Abbey originally, right? And so I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened actually, but it just feels like... It, it, it ends on a happy note, but it just feels like it's not actually the end, if that makes sense. <laughs> but it's a good series if you want something to binge watch. And since it ended not on a very happy, like, well, not a happy ending, but like not a satisfying, not, it wasn't a satisfying ending. I decided to um, start watching Bridgerton just because I'm so excited about the third season. Um, those are books also. I'm starting to read them now. I switched from Akatar to Bridgerton because I really want to read. Um, I want to read it to at least the third book because I guess this season is supposed to be um, Penelope and Collins uh, book. So I want to at least get to that book. So 
as much as I, because I heard, so the, I'm on the fourth book of Akatar, and that one I hear is like a Christmas, Christmassy story, and I thought, well, maybe I'll save, um, the fourth Akatar book, um, till next, you know, fall. And that way it feels more like that time period since, you know, like the series for Akatar isn't supposed to come out, like the ser the TV series on, I guess it's going to be on Hulu, mm -hmm. isn't supposed to come out till 2025. So I feel like I have time for that. Oh, the Bridgerton books are really good. That's what everybody keeps telling me. So um, I'm on the first one, obviously, and it is good. Um, I feel like she's a very good visual writer as well. So, I'm reading those. And just by me telling you what I'm reading can kind of tell you maybe what some of um, the prints are for summer pre-order. Which is exciting. I actually love historical romance. Do you know what a good series, a good historical romance series, and it's a Christian historical romance series? Um, oh, gosh, what is it? Love. It's like the love grows, love endures, love. Anybody else know what books I'm talking about? I read them when I was in high school. Oh, I should find out what those are and list it on, the <laughs> on here. Oh, if anybody knows what they are, they're so good. It's so like they're um, like on the Oregon Trail. Anybody else know what books I'm talking about? It's a really good book series. I mean, there's there's several of them in the series. who wrote them but those were really good I would have to say like as much as I like fantasy romance historical romance is probably my first love as far as romance books are concerned and it's because of that series I read in high school and I think it is like love grows love endures it's a good good series if you want just like it has some drama but just like a good and it's not like obviously because it's a Christian romance book it's not like smut romance stitches clipping all my stitches mm -hmm. hope I still have one more one more side to do Stephanie Lauren's Sinister series is also really good. I have not heard of that one. I'll have to look into it. So many books, so little time, like everything else, right? But yeah, the Bridgerton, Bridgerton series. We're going to have some Bridgerton. Bridgerton and Downton. Downton Abbey is like one of my all-time favorite shows. I don't know why. I just love the time period. Um, so there'll be some prints coming. Our next pre-order, the next pre-order will run um, April to May. be 
good, um, pretty prints for summertime. All right. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Now, to reduce some of the bulk, um, snip angles in the arm gussets at each point where the folded meat edge meets the center portion. So, like here, you could clip some of these this stuff down, okay? Just don't clip any of your stitches. I'll probably clip off some of this excess vinyl that's on the edges of some of these. This is I use vinyl for my pockets. Okay. Alrighty. Now, Cindy says to What are we doing here? I don't think I listened to Cindy here. I just did it on my own. So trim the arm gusset seam allowance to approximately one quarter knot trim the open center portion. The center needs to remain wide as a buffer for sewing the opening. So I think we're all good there. I don't need to trim that. And then use the side with the open pocket to turn, push out all corners. Oh, she put double-sided tape along here for later. I did listen to this. <laughs> Okay. I know. We're so close. So I'm just going to put a piece of double-sided tape there for later. And now we're going to turn it through our fancy hole that Cindy helped us make sure we had. Right? Like I said, it's such a unique pattern. It's one of the reasons I really wanted to do it. All right, we're gonna turn it and we're gonna push out those corners. Oh, look at what I did there though. I shouldn't have done that. Hmm, how can I fix that? My vinyl I think is a little, I didn't get those right. That's probably from that's probably from me, but it's all right. It's, it's okay. No one's going to see that. Can I fix that? I think I can fix that. Let me fix that, you guys, because that's going to bother me. I didn't make sure that this edge here was pushed through, so... Let me fix that because I want it to look finished. Where's my seam ripper? the edge I want to do or no that wasn't the edge I wanted to do goodness gracious Jenna let's it wouldn't be a so long if Jenna didn't rip something out <laughs> Thought that felt funky there. And I was like, well, it'll be okay. 
No, it's not okay. Oh my goodness, hi. What are you doing? Mister. Hmm? Were you stealing some of Pap's lunch? He was down pesting my father along. to be tucked in there better. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't you buff at me. Now he's going to talk to me. a piece of thread stuck in there. Just needed, just needed a little finessing. Yeah, now we're, now we're looking good. Now we're cooking with gas. Get our corners out here. Close that turning hole, correct? 
So I'm going to flip it around this way. Yeah, I didn't do it this way the first time. I have to look what I actually did, Cindy. Right? See how the overhang can fold over and cover the right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I didn't do that the um, the first time. <laughs> I just left it open, to be very honest. Because I feel like I probably am going to just leave it open here because I have so much bulk with this vinyl. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Maybe I can. I just don't want to catch anything. Well, I can do it. That's okay. Here's where I need to kind of push some of this out of the way. I'm gonna leave like the ends where it's like bulk. I think I don't think I'm gonna sew those. I'm just gonna sew it closed in the center of it. Bobbin one. Crap. Right, right, right in an important part, too. You know? <laughs> I don't ever win. Even though my, the celery does make like a tingling little sound, a tinkling cling. Uh, you can trim the corners. I could trim the corners. It's all right. No one's going to see this part anyways, right? Okay. Back in here. No, I'm so close. I fig I figured I need two because I think my last one I needed two. So it's all right. We got it. It's all good. All right. So now we're gonna just flip that. Judge it. All right. 
right now we're going to fold down our top part here. Fold your seams like that's what's nice to iron it probably would be the best option here. But just to kind of hold it in place. So I'm going to pull this double sided tape off. thread I need to burn. There's that. Okay, so we're gonna top stitch this. We're so close, you guys, so close. All right, so I wanna do it from this side. Here's another little thread. Oh, I'm not on the top stitch size. Oh, I did that the last time. Oh well, it's all right. long for now and we're gonna do this bottom portion all right so now that we have it all together now we need to do this bottom piece with our zipper now it's just a matter of moving our seams where they need to be I just kind of try to do that first to get my corners the way that they're supposed to be before I worried about my zipper. Okay. And why do I have, oh, measure, measurements, that's why. This is where I had to fix my last one with my measurements. See how I'm a little off there? I had to do that with my last one too, where I picked it. Cindy, is there a tip? I think that's where you, when you're measuring your, it's important to measure from that, making sure you're right in that 90 degree, huh? Yeah, I think it just shifts too. So I just, I just unpicked some of it and then it moved, you know, you can move it over to where you need it to be. All right, now, while we're laying flat, we put our zipper pull on, right? We don't want to forget about that. We'll 
put our tassel on at the very end. Are you guys still there? Am I back? Let's see if we're back. Hello, hello. I don't know what happened. Internet must have went out or something. Hopefully you guys can hear me now. I don't know where I froze. Did I froze like in the middle of doing the zipper? Or... Sorry about that, you guys. Beauty of the internet is that it's not always beautiful. <laughs> you just saw my mailman? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how Apollo started barking at the mailman, right? And that's how I know. Thank goodness he started barking because that, um, yeah, I was pushing the zipper into the spine. Um, that's when I noticed that you guys were frozen. So I'm just tying everything off from my top stitches. They're not the, per the most perfect ones, but it... It did what it needed to do. It doesn't look bad. It's not it's not the worst. Oh my goodness. Apollo just made like a groaning sound. I don't know if you guys heard that. It was like he gets annoyed that he didn't get to like yell at the mailman more. <laughs> I'm excited to zipper this up. We gotta put our tassel on first. And then I'll talk about the next uh, sew alongs that we're doing for this month too. All right, so now we need to put our tassel on. So the tassel comes, the tassel zipper pulls from um, Saya Swag come with screws, okay? And where's my little, I got this off of Amazon. So you just want to, you have to kind of roll it up. I'm gonna try to roll it up as tight as you can. And get it in there. Okay, and then What I like about this is you really don't need glue on this because it goes through all the layers of your vinyl. The screw is big, that big. So that's kind of cool. There we go. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, we need to put our pen in. Put my pen in there. Nice, nice. Okay, let's zipper her up.
Oh my goodness. It's so good, you guys. Look how cool it is. Cindy, it's awesome. Look how cool it got. I love it. I definitely am going to push out some of my corners a little bit more. I might take it and go press it just before I take like some actual pictures um, to share. But it definitely turned out way better than I had hoped. Such a cute pattern. And like I said, I think this would be, this would act, this is perfect size for a regular book, especially if you're a, a print book reader and not a Kindle, Kindle reader. So I love it. Thank you guys. Thank you. I feel like it turned out so pretty. The black feathers are so perfect for it and the tassel too. I highly recommend if you're going to do these, this, this is a cool little like add on to it to have it be a tassel zipper pull. Very cute. All right, so there is our feather. I plan to modify for a tablet too. Ooh, yeah, for a Kindle or something, for a tablet, that'd be really cool. Um, I definitely wanna make the binder one. I'm trying to think like, what could I, my daughter might be able to use it as a binder one though. Um, so here we are, our black diamond feathers with our Hope Whispers tag. So, Awesome pattern, Cindy. Thank you so much for allowing me to share it here in the channel. Last things that I do want to talk about. Again, the print pre-order ends on Thursday night. It'll be over. Um, and so then our turnaround time is um, seven weeks from that. So you'll have your fabrics hopefully by the first week of spring. Um, so definitely... If someone wants to post in the group, just, uh, well, in the comments, come and post my website for me just so people have it. Um, if you haven't seen some of the fabrics that are over on the pre-order, we do have library prints for all of us bookish people. Um, there are Akatar inspired prints. There's Potter inspired prints. Um, there's also some really gorgeous, what I call bookish coordinates. Um, so thank you, Cindy. So go over and check that out. Uh, like I said, that ends on Thursday. But I want to share the other patterns we're going to do this month. Okay. So we are going to do the next one we're going to do is on. I'm looking at my calendar over here. On, is it Tuesday? Tuesday the 6th. We're going to do the flux. I know the floral, the rainbow florals are gorgeous. I'm actually, that's what we're going to be using for the other bags. Here, I'll show you the, the fabric. So the flux is um I'll sh i have a picture of that pattern to show you the flux it is by sally tomato and this is what it looks like it's a tote that has like this little like um clutch that goes in like the front pocket um so we're gonna make this and we're gonna use um mint julep dyed fabric which is the dyed fabric that we just released which is like this minty um turquoisey i would say it's like tiffany blue really is where like the base of it is um and then we're gonna pair that with the white floral in um luxe sateen um for this bag okay and i have some cork that we're using for my little shindig so we're doing that bag on Tuesday. And then we won't have another sew along until the 19th, um, which we're going to be doing the Polywog um, wristlet lanyard um, from, um, is it, who, whose is that? That's um, from Anchor. Oh gosh, I'm going to forget there. It's anchor patterns. Needle and anchor. Needle and anchor patterns. I really love their patterns. So we're going to be doing 
the polywog. I think it would be great for those of us who are going on cruises this year because I think it was originally designed during COVID for like your COVID vaccine card for in the front. But I think for um, just the way that it's made is a little bit bigger of like a lanyard wristlet thing. Um, I think it'll be really good for like if you're going on a cruise and you have like an ID card or something. So actually Diana, who is one of my strikers, she, her and I are going to do a sew along live together on both of our channels. Um, it's her debut. So we're going to do that together. And then um, the last sew along that I have planned for this month, which might get moved into March, but we're going to try. Um, is we're going to do the full size making um, backpack by Noodle Head. Um, and we're going to do that in. Ooh, sorry, bubbles. Oh, sorry, bubble. We're going to do that. This is a sneak peek of one of the, the colors for this month's dynamic fabric kit. This is hibiscus. Um, and so, hibiscus margarita. So, we're going to be doing it with this. And we're going to be doing it with the print, with the pink floral. Um, so the making backpack is the last sew along for this month. So that's what we have planned. Um, if you want any of these florals, I have very limited retail in it. Um, so I would highly suggest if you want a certain base in any of those florals that you grab those um, from the pre-order. And the mint julep, there is still some in stock if you want that. Um, you can grab some dyed mint julep. And then um, the dynamic fabric kit for February will release on, I think, Valentine's Day is when it releases. So the 13th or, or Valentine's Day, one or the other. I think it's the 13th for Patreon and the 14th for everybody else. But thank you guys again. I know I opened this up. Um, will the making backpack be on a weekend? Um, no, I, ha I have that scheduled for the 27th. But I think I'm going to do it in the evening. So, I know it would be nice if I did them on the weekend for you guys, wouldn't it? The problem for me is I never know what my weekends are going to really look like. Especially, like, I can do this now if my because my husband's working this weekend. Um, and I don't have any other distractions. Um, the other thing we have to do, so next weekend, Super Bowl which I saw my gals who probably are sewing now um, over um, with the bag making besties um, with uh, Amber and with Savannah. But I saw they're doing a so, so, Super Bowl or so, Super Bowl. Um, but I, my best friend and I, um, another best friend locally, she is a big football person. Um, and so... Uh, you know, definitely uh, we'll be, we'll be munching. I'm not a big football person. Those of you who are great. Um, she is. And so she, she always hosts Super Bowl. I always host New Year's Eve. Um, and for both of us, it's really just about eating good food and hanging out. Um, I mean, the Super Bowl, she'll definitely be watching the game. <laughs> I'll be enjoying snacks. Um, so that's next weekend. And then the following weekend, which is Valentine's weekend, this is how romantic my husband and I are. Valentine's weekend is our tax weekend. Um, I do my own taxes. And so, uh, well, we do, our, he helps. I have, he does help. He cooks all weekend. We sit in our kitchen and we do all of it. Um, and so Valentine's weekend is always tax weekend. Um, so this month, I would say most of them won't be on the weekend, but uh, the ones that are during the week, um, I'm going to, I feel like evenings are usually the best. So I'm going to sit with it a little bit today, but I'm going to make all the events and then I'm going to schedule them all here. So that way everything um, can be ready for you guys to click and, and get your alerts and things like that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope if you make one of these, please share. Please share if you make one of these. Share over in my Facebook group, but also share in Cindy's group. Um, again, the reason I do so alongs is not just for us to hang out and have a good time. I love that we do. Um, but it also is to support the pattern designers. Make sure you're posting what you make over in their groups. 
um, and tagging them and making sure that they're seen. That's how they make their money. Um, and again, like I said, patterns aren't that expensive. So, you know, it definitely is a way to support them. So make sure you're supporting them by tagging them and sharing your pictures so more people see their patterns. Um, and this one is definitely such a good one. I feel like the child size, even if you're, if you don't want to make it for a Bible, I feel like the child size one is perfect, um, for just regular books. Um, and so embroidered, what's embroidered? I don't know what's embroidered. <laughs> I feel like I don't, I wasn't talking about embroidery. Maybe I wasn't. Um, anyways, this is a great, uh, great pattern. Go and make sure that you um, tag Cindy when you when you make yours, and make sure you you post it in my group too, just so I can see it. Um, but, and if you use my fabric, tag me too. If you have any questions for me, as always, I'm I'm always over in the group, or you can put them in the comments below here. Um, if you watch, um, how is it how I say embroidery? Is that what it is? <laughs> I know that um, uh, Amber was saying my accent for embroidery is funny. Um, anyways, <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. I will see you all next time in the next sew along. And until then, I hope I see you in a group. Make sure you've liked, you've subscribed. Um, leave a comment if you haven't. It all helps get more out. And I hope you just have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Talk to you all.